So if you're like my client, Adam, you've just been for a long run and you need to stretch your body, but you're like, you come back and you're like, ah, oh, I'm not a yoga teacher, but I want to stretch my body and I don't know what I should be doing. Which areas should I be stretching? Which stretches should I be doing? How long for? Well, this is perfect. So this is going to unlock your flexibility. This is a post-run yoga session that's going to help you ease nicely back into your rest of your life so that you don't get too stiff. And it's going to help you reduce your injury risk. We're going to start on our hands and knees. So we're going to bring your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hip. And we're going to wear hips. We're going to work on into your lower back, into your upper back. Really important that we just work through your spine to start. So we're going to press your belly to the floor and chin comes up as you're breathing in. As you're breathing out, your chin to your chest and round through your back and go into the upper back, really stretch. So you're breathing in, press your belly and your chest to the floor, arch your back as you're breathing out, chin to your chest and round through your back. And this is going to start again, your cool down. So trying to breathe in and out through your nose if you can. Just notice how it feels as you do this. Do you get any tender spots? Do you need to go a bit easier? Make the movement smaller if you do. What does it feel nice? So after a long run, we can get tense and achy in that lower back and into the pelvis area, maybe the glutes or the bum. So just going through it a few times as you're breathing in, breathing out. We're going to work our way into a nice hamstring stretch in the moment. Okay, so from here now, we're going to tuck the toes gently. I'm going to start to press the toes into the mat. And from here, push strongly into the hands. We're going to push into that down facing dog. We're going to start with bent knees. Push your head towards your knees to start. And then really slowly push your heels towards the floor. You'll feel that stretch maybe in the calves and the hamstrings. Push the left heel in so the left leg straightens. Bend the right knee. Have a good stretch, breathing in. As you slowly come over to the other side, straighten the right leg. Push the right heel down, bending the left knee. Breathe. And you just go through this a few times now as you're breathing in, breathing out, looking towards your knees. Notice how the left side feels compared to the right. Okay, nearly there. One more push into the right heel. And then we're going to look up towards your hands and step through into a plank position and then step the left hand to the outside of the left foot. Left foot onto the outside of the left hand, sorry. Wiggle it up a few times and then let the hips sink. So take that back knee further backwards until that, that hip can really sink down so that right hip can really sink into the floor. And what we're going to do now is we're going to get a real gentle little massage. So keep that left foot nice and flat. Keep your hands gently into the mat, so don't lock the elbows or the shoulders, let there be fluidity. And you're just going to breathe in, release and breathe out. Just really let that hip sink into the floor, feel that stretch in the hip flexors. Breathe in, slightly release, breathe out, sink into it. Also working into this hip and groin on the left side as well. So we're just getting a little bit of a massage and loosening, nice and supple with those tissues. Nice good stretch. Easing any tension out of the hip flexors on the right, the groin on the left, maybe the hamstring a little bit as well on the left. Just depends where you're feeling this. So a little bit of a supple massage to keep those muscle and tendon tissues nice and healthy, breathing as you do it. Again, trying to keep the shoulders relaxed. One more nice release to the floor. And then as we're coming up this time with the hips, we're going to step the left foot backwards. Notice the difference in the legs as they feel. Whatever you feel, have a little bit of a wiggle. 
We're going to let the hips come down towards the heels slowly. You don't have to come all the way because we're going to come forwards and then step the right foot to the outside of the right hand now. Make sure the right foot is nice and flat and it's wiggled up. Make sure that back knee's further back so it's got a good stretch on that top of the left thigh into that hip flexor area where the left pocket would be. And then breathe out, release, hip to the floor, feel that extra stretch, breathe in. Just release it a little, release the stretch a little bit. So breathe out, go deep into it. Keep the elbows and the shoulders soft. Breathe in, release the intensity of the stretch. So again, a massage, a suppleness. Just breathing in, breathing out, or just move with the body. Just create that nice, good stretch. And a nice, good suppleness in those tissues. From here, we're going to push into the hands and the hips backwards. Step the right foot back. Rock slowly back into the heels. And then this time as we step up, step the left hand to the inside. Left foot, sorry, on the inside of the left hand. Let that left hip sink in towards the heel. Really stretch again into the hips, the pelvis. Breathe in. As you breathe out, start to walk the hands to that knee at the back. And as we're doing that, we're going to dig this left heel in and start to straighten the leg. Only go where you feel comfortable. So if you need to keep a bend and you need to stay here, do that. I'm going to carry on going just as a little bit of a guide to show you where you could go. And then pause, breathe in. As you breathe out, walk hands forwards deep into that stretch. Again, nice, good release. Breathe in. As you breathe out, come back again. Dig the heel in, find that stretch into the hamstrings, maybe into the calves as well. Relax the shoulders. One more time, coming forwards. Nice breath out, deep into that stretch. Breathing in and then coming through backwards. Last time, dig that heel in, nice good stretch. And then coming forwards with the hands, place the hands flat. Step that left foot backwards, feel the difference in the left and the right sides again. Notice how it feels. And then from here, just rock back, step in the right foot to the inside of the right hand. Again, let the hips sink, go deep into that stretch. If the heel's lifting, don't go any further. Have a little bit of a pulse, breathe in. As you breathe out, we're going to come back. Sorry, I'm going to breathe in now. As you breathe out, you're going to start to dig that heel and straighten that right leg as much as you comfortably can. Again, don't force it, don't go too aggressive into it. Breathing in. And then coming forwards as you breathe out. Into that nice good stretch again, deep into the hips. And coming backwards, walking the hands backwards. So we're just moving, again, mobilizing. So dynamic stretches are really good, the most beneficial for building flexibility and really good for muscle recovery, tendon tissue recovery. Coming forwards now. Again, deep release into that hip. And start to walk the hands backwards for this last one into the hamstrings and the calves. Nice, good stretch. Relax the shoulders. And then starting to walk the hands forwards again. Hands to the mat, step that right foot back. Notice the difference in the left and the right. Bring the knees underneath the hips. And we're going to step the left foot to the back of the mat, but tuck the toes under so you can push the heel towards the back of the mat. A little bit of upper body and core strength here. So push strongly away from the mat and push that heel towards the back of the mat. You should feel that in the lower, lower leg. So maybe the Achilles or the calf muscle and a nice and slow, good stretch. But just have a little bit of a, a pulse as you just go forwards and back with that. Nice, good stretchy. Stretch into the calf and the Achilles, breathe. Stay active in the shoulders and the abs. Again, keeping those, supple, those tissues nice and supple with this dynamic stretching. Okay, and then just hold into it. So really push into that stretch and hold for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one and release. Again, just feel that work. Step the right foot back. Toes tuck under, push the heel towards the back of the mat. Start with a really slow push. Again, pulse, just left, uh, forwards and back, push into the toes, push into the stretch to release it. Stretch and release, push. 
strongly into the mat. How does this side feel compared to the left? Okay, and then hold for 10. Three, two, one, and release. Good work. And then come down onto your front now. So lower your waist down. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. We're going to get a nice lower back stretch. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Touch your toes together. And if that's too intense, take your feet wider. Relax your shoulders and your elbows. Gently pull your, sh your shoulders backwards. Breathe into the belly button. We've got that nice natural arch in your lower back now. You can bring your chin up if it feels okay. Arching down. Breathe. So we're slowing your heart rate down. We'll get that nice work into the lower back and the abdominal area. Really healthy for your pelvis. Yeah. Lower back. Okay, and your next exhale, you're going to come down, bring your hands just out wide. I'm going to try not to get too close to the microphone because it get too loud. But from here, see so four heads to the floor. So get comfortable. Rest your hands wherever you feel they can get comfortable. And we're going to take your right foot up towards your right bum. Take hold of the right foot with your right hand. Now, if you need to get a strap or you need to get your, your sock and wrap it round your foot to pull it up, you can do that and pause the video. But just pull gently, pull that right heel toward your right hip and nice good stretch into those thighs so the quadricep muscles and breathe and again just notice how that feels that stretch does it feel nice does it feel good to stretch and just push that right hip that little bit more into the floor that should increase the stretch that little bit more into the hip flexors at the top of the thigh And then slowly release that hand up, let it twang. Release the foot to the floor, feel the difference again on the left and right sides. And then I'm going to bring the left foot up, take hold of the left foot into the left hand. Pull that heel towards the hip and find that nice good stretch on the left thigh. Left thigh. Push that left hip into the floor. Again, so the actual hip bone, push it into the floor, that will feel a little bit more. Increase of the stretch. How does this left side feel to the right? So if you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. You'll get all of the videos that I post. I post lots of different types of yoga that are here to help you run better, to help you move better and to help you feel better. So just click the subscribe button, you'll get all of the videos. And if you're feeling extra generous, give us a thumbs up, with like for this video, maybe leave a comment, let me know how you felt after the video. And it really does help my little channel, so thank you. It helped you, you get free yoga. Okay, as you take your next exhale, just release that foot all the way to the floor. And just have a little bit of a wiggle through the hips. How do you feel after that post-run yoga? So that's the best way to unlock your flexibility is with those dynamic stretches that we did, particularly after a run like that. So I hope you enjoyed that practice. Please share this video with someone, if you did, a fellow runner. And I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.